In the heart of Starbase, a revolution is taking shape. As SpaceX engineers gather around their latest creation, their eyes are fixed on a seemingly simple yet crucial component, the flaps of Starship 52. These aren't just any flaps, they're the culmination of years of testing, failures, and breakthroughs, designed to withstand temperatures that could melt steel. Remember Flight 4? The moment when those forward flaps nearly tore away during re-entry, dancing at the edge of destruction at 1500 degrees Celsius? That day taught SpaceX an invaluable lesson. Now as we stand on the cusp of Flight 7, everything has changed. The team has completely reimagined these critical control surfaces, transforming them from a vulnerability into one of Starship's greatest strengths. Today, we're going to walk through exactly how SpaceX has revolutionized Starship's flap system. From their innovative repositioning to their streamlined design, these upgrades aren't just improvements. They're a complete paradigm shift in spacecraft control surfaces. We'll explore why this matters not just for Flight 7, but for the future of space exploration itself. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours, and let's dive right in. 2025 marks a pivotal moment in SpaceX's journey. As we approach Flight 7, the anticipation at Starbase is palpable. Engineers move with renewed purpose around Starship S-33 and Booster B-14, but their attention keeps returning to one critical component that could make or break this mission, the revolutionary V-2 flap system. The story of these flaps is more than just technical innovation. It's a testament to SpaceX's relentless pursuit of perfection. Back in 2021, even Elon Musk knew something wasn't right. The old design was killing me, he confessed, highlighting how the original flaps were pushing the nose backward during the most critical phase of flight. It was like trying to swim upstream with weights tied to your arms, possible but far from ideal. Those early V1 flaps tell a story of both triumph and tribulation. Symmetrically placed at 180 degrees around the nose cone, they were massive, heavy structures that looked impressive but harbored a fatal flaw. During re-entry, as temperatures soared to a blistering 1500 degrees Celsius, hot enough to turn sand into glass, these flaps became Starship's Achilles heel. Flight 4 brought this reality crashing home. As Starship plunged through the atmosphere, the forward flaps began to fail. Those watching the live stream held their breath as the flaps, glowing from intense heat, threatened to tear away completely. While the spacecraft survived, the message was clear. Evolution wasn't just an option, it was a necessity. The transition to V2 flaps represents more than just an upgrade. It's a complete reimagining of how a spacecraft should control its descent. The new forward flaps are notably smaller, with a sleeker profile that slices through the atmosphere like a hot knife through butter. But size isn't the only change. SpaceX engineers made a bold decision to break from tradition, repositioning the flaps at an angle between 120 to 140 degrees on the leeward side of the ship. This asymmetrical positioning might seem counterintuitive, but it's pure genius in action. By moving the flaps more toward the leeward side and closer to the vehicle's tip, SpaceX has created a design that naturally shields these crucial components from the brutal forces of re-entry. It's like a boxer learning to roll with the punches instead of taking them head on. The gaps that once existed between the flaps and the ship's body, small but problematic weak points that allowed superheated plasma to wreak havoc, have been eliminated. The new construction creates a unified structure that's more resilient and more reliable. These aren't just improvements, they're solutions born from the school of hard knocks. But perhaps the most significant advancement lies in how these changes work together. The reduced mass of the flaps, combined with their optimized positioning, has created a cascading effect of benefits. The lighter weight means better fuel efficiency. The improved positioning enables more precise control during landing. Even the manufacturing process has been simplified, making these advanced components easier to produce and maintain. The implications for Flight 7 are profound. As S-33 prepares to carry its payload of simulated Starlink satellites, these redesigned flaps will play a crucial role in every phase of the mission. During ascent, their streamlined profile will reduce drag, helping Starship punch through the atmosphere more efficiently. 
In space, their precise control will facilitate the first ever payload deployment from a Starship vehicle, a historic moment in the making. But the real test comes during re-entry. This is where previous designs face their greatest challenges and where the V2 flaps are expected to shine. The new positioning will help protect them from the intense heat, while their optimized shape will provide the control needed for a controlled descent. SpaceX isn't just aiming for survival, they're aiming for perfection. The ocean landing plan for Flight 7 will push these new flaps to their limits. Unlike previous tests, this mission may incorporate steeper angles of attack and more complex maneuvers. It's like a test pilot putting a new aircraft through its paces, discovering its true capabilities and limitations. Looking beyond Flight 7, these flaps are key to achieving one of SpaceX's most ambitious goals, returning Starship to its launch site. Landing in the ocean is one thing, but guiding this massive spacecraft back to the waiting arms of the launch tower, the chopsticks as they're affectionately known, requires unprecedented precision. The V2 flaps, with their enhanced control capabilities, make this dream increasingly achievable. The integration with other Starship systems showcases the holistic thinking behind these upgrades. The flaps work in concert with the engines during landing, like a synchronized dance where every move must be perfect. The redesigned heat shield system, featuring new metallic tiles and advanced cooling systems, complements the flaps' new positioning, creating a more robust thermal protection strategy. SpaceX's ambitious plan for over 20 Starship flights in 2025 will put these improvements to the ultimate test. Each mission will build upon the last, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in spacecraft design. The flaps will play a crucial role in everything from orbital refueling operations to potential missions supporting NASA's Artemis program. The journey of Starship's flaps mirrors SpaceX's broader approach to innovation, identify problems, learn from failures, and emerge stronger. These aren't just control surfaces anymore. They're the product of countless hours of engineering, testing, and refinement. They represent the difference between a spacecraft that merely survives re-entry and one that masters it. As we look toward Flight 7 and beyond, these upgraded flaps stand as a testament to human ingenuity and determination. They prove that in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges, innovation and persistence can prevail. With temperatures exceeding 1500 degrees Celsius, forces that would tear apart lesser spacecraft, and the need for precision control in the most extreme conditions imaginable, SpaceX's V2 flaps aren't just meeting these challenges, they're conquering them. This is more than just a technical achievement. It's a milestone in our journey to become a spacefaring civilization. Every successful flight brings us closer to a future where space travel is not just possible, but routine. The V2 flaps, with their elegant design and robust performance, are helping to write the next chapter in humanity's greatest adventure. Flight 7 stands ready to validate these improvements, to prove that the lessons learned from past flights have led to true innovation. The eyes of the space industry are watching, eager to see how these redesigned flaps perform under real-world conditions. Their success could influence spacecraft design for generations to come. In the end, this is about more than just improved aerodynamics or thermal protection. It's about the relentless pursuit of excellence, the courage to learn from failure, and the vision to see beyond current limitations. As Starship prepares for its next great leap forward, these flaps represent everything that makes SpaceX's approach unique. Bold innovation grounded in practical engineering, with an unwavering focus on the ultimate goal of making life multiplanetary. As Flight 7 approaches, we're witnessing more than just an upgrade. We're seeing the future of space exploration unfold before our eyes. These revolutionary flaps represent SpaceX's unwavering commitment to pushing boundaries and solving the impossible. From withstanding extreme temperatures to enabling precise control during landing, they're the key to making Starship truly reusable. Want to stay updated on Flight 7's performance and future developments? Drop a yes in the comments below. Your engagement helps our community grow and keeps everyone informed about these groundbreaking achievements. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to join us at Elon Musk 24 hours 
as we continue tracking Starship's journey to the stars. Until next time, this is Elon Musk 24 Hours, bringing you tomorrow's space technology today. In the vast arena of space exploration, two titans are locked in an unprecedented showdown. Blue Origin's New Glenn and SpaceX's Starship were both poised to make history on January 10th, 2025, but fate had other plans. Our mascot is the tortoise, Jeff Bezos proudly declares, because we believe slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Yet as the Atlantic waters churn with higher than expected swells, Blue Origin's methodical approach faces its latest challenge. The dream of launching New Glenn ahead of SpaceX's Starship grows more distant by the day. The story takes an unexpected turn as both launches slip from their January 10th target. Elon Musk announces Starship Flight 7 won't fly before January 13th, seemingly giving New Glenn an opening. But nature intervenes. High seas in the Atlantic force Blue Origin to push to at least January 12th, with forecasts suggesting even further delays. This isn't just about two rockets racing to the launch pad, it's about two distinct philosophies colliding in the cosmos. Blue Origin's careful measured approach versus SpaceX's rapid iteration. After nearly four years of delays since its original 2021 target, New Glenn stands ready to prove whether slow and steady truly wins the space race. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in humanity's greatest adventure. Let's dive right in. The tortoise in the hare fable takes on new meaning in the modern space race. But this time, the stakes are measured in billions of dollars in national security implications. As we stand on the precipice of what could be the most significant month in commercial spaceflight, the contrast between Blue Origin and SpaceX couldn't be more striking. Jeff Bezos' methodical approach with New Glenn has been a testament to patience, perhaps too much patience. Since its announcement, the massive rocket has undergone countless refinements, each promising to bring it closer to its maiden flight. But as dawn breaks over Cape Canaveral in early 2025, a familiar story unfolds. Another delay, this time due to high seas in the Atlantic where Blue Origin hopes to land its booster. The irony isn't lost on industry veterans. Blue Origin's Launch Complex 36, once a silent reminder of the space race's golden age, now stands ready with a rocket that embodies both promise and frustration. The company's recent $3,250 fine for unauthorized use of its water deluge system during static fire testing adds another layer to this complex narrative. It's a small sum for a company backed by one of the world's wealthiest individuals, but it symbolizes the hurdles that even the most well-funded space ventures face. Behind the scenes, the pressure mounts, the U.S. Air Force's decision five years ago still echoes through the halls of Blue Origin's facilities. Their choice to award major contracts to SpaceX and United Launch Alliance sent a clear message. Patience has its limits. The termination of a $500 million contract in 2018 was more than a financial setback. It was a wake-up call that the space industry waits for no one. Yet there's a method to Blue Origin's measured pace. The new Glenn rocket is a marvel of engineering, standing over 320 feet tall, a giant even among giants. Its seven BE-4 engines, fueled by liquid oxygen and liquefied natural gas, represent a new chapter in rocket propulsion. The seven-meter-wide payload fairing isn't just impressive, it's a direct challenge to SpaceX's market dominance, offering capabilities that could revolutionize satellite deployment and space logistics. But while Blue Origin perfects its tortoise strategy, SpaceX continues to push boundaries. The launch cost comparison tells an interesting story. New Glenn's projected $60 to $70 million price tag matches the Falcon 9, but with nearly double the payload capacity. It's a bold pricing strategy that reflects Bezos' long-term vision, not just to compete, but to fundamentally transform the economics of space access. The similarities between the two companies' approaches are fascinating. Both have embraced vertical landing technology for their boosters, a technique that once seemed like science fiction. Both understand the critical importance of rapid reusability, but where SpaceX has refined this through hundreds of actual launches, 
Blue Origin's experience remains largely theoretical. The stakes extend far beyond corporate competition. NASA's Artemis program looms large on the horizon, promising to return humans to the lunar surface in the late 2020s. Both companies hold crucial contracts for this ambitious endeavor. Former NASA Administrator G. Scott Hubbard's enthusiasm for competition to SpaceX's Falcon 9 reflects a broader industry desire for alternatives and redundancy in space access. Looking beyond the immediate launch window, Bezos' vision becomes 